All right, number nine, on this day in 1985, a 22-year-old Michael Jordan was given the NBA's Rookie of the Year award in his first year as a pro with the Bulls. MJ averaged 28.2 points per game with a field goal percentage of .515. There were only four games that season when he wasn't on the court for at least 30 minutes. Wow. Jordan was the third pick in the 1984 draft. The Houston Rockets made the smart use of their number one pick by selecting Hakeem Olajuwon out of Nigeria. But with the second pick, the Portland Trail Blazers were in desperate need of a center. So they passed on Jordan for Kentucky's Sam Bowie. The rest is history. Sam who? Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, number eight. We'll take the bait on this headline from the New York Post. I'm unschooling my kids why we won't teach them to read and write. A couple in the UK named the Allens are raising their three children with child autonomy. That means the kids who are 12 and under set their own school curriculum, bedtimes, menus, and chores. The couple says they were into natural living before they had kids and they don't trust the health care and education systems. So the kids have to show an interest in something before they move on to learn about it. Also, they don't get vaccinated or go to the doctors. Instead, they use herbal remedies. Mm-hmm. Until they get really sick, and then they end up going to the doctor. All right, number seven, Gen Z is obsessed with Princess Anne, the sister of the late... Wow, that is some lid right there, Hello. as you would say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's... Uh, wait. Is her on the left or no, right? No, she's uh, Prince Charles' sister, isn't she? I don't know. Princess Anne? Anyone? Yeah. Uh, Anybody have a royal family tree they can... She's the daughter of... Who? Wait. Is it in the script? Yeah, we got this wrong. All right, she's the sister of Prince Charles. Uh, check out TikTok, you'll find thousands of videos devoted to the princess. There are nearly a billion searches for her name. The kids love her iconic style, especially in the 60s and 70s. She was on the cover of British Vogue three times. There are entire TikTok videos with montages of her coats, and they think the princess is a bit of a baddie. Oh, One yeah, time she, she told the man it was not bloody likely he would be able to kidnap her. Princess Anne was huh. 23 years old at the time. The wow. man had been holding a gun to her, and she said, I nearly lost my temper with him, but I knew that if I did, I would hit him, and he would shoot me. Mm. The princess also hates social media, and that only makes the kids love her more. I didn't even know Charles had a sister. I didn't either. Well, she's got a... Yeah, Charles' yeah. sister. She's the one, I think, who sat in front of Prince Harry at the uh, coronation with the big red feather on her hat and that, that, that was, was blocking Prince yeah. Harry. Yeah. Any <laughs> other siblings up? coming out of that? Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Oh, look at that. Are those other siblings, aren't they? So she's got the gig because she's probably getting the same amount of dough yeah. as the rest of them. And nobody knows she's even around. Didn't really do anything. I, I got to admit, I'm not up on a lie. I was watching The Crown there for a while, and I get, yeah, I get lost there sometimes. In mm -hmm. the... Is that a documentary, The Crown? Well, they say it's not, but it's very... It's based on the whole story of yeah. Queen Elizabeth and the family. Anyway, this is just yeah. too deep of a dive because I really don't know what it's It's only 906. <laughs> uh, anyway. number, number six, pretty soon there won't be AM radio in many cars. Uh, BMW, Volkswagen, Mazda, Ford, and Tesla have all announced they are dropping it because electric engines can interfere with AM sound. This is unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of first responders, some politicians, and of course the AM radio stations themselves uh, don't like the change. AM radio is predominantly for weather, traffic, and right-wing political talk. Not always. Yeah, I'm just reading what's on the thing. Got a WGN uh, radio still going yeah. strong. The score. BBM, yeah. Sports uh, radio. Ford says its data pulled from internet-connected vehicles shows that less than 5% of people in cars are listening to AM radio right now. There are about 4,200 AM radio stations in the U.S. Hmm. Hmm. See how that goes. Yeah. All right, time for number five. Here's a reminder. If you see a sign like this saying, do not enter in Wyoming right now, you should pay attention. Uh, in many areas there, game and wildlife officials are trapping grizzly bears to tranquilize and examine them. It's 
a highly debatable practice, but the experts say it's not harmful to the animals. It's meant to keep tabs on their well-being. Mm -hmm. Once the wildlife folks are done examining the bears, they release them back into nature, but the bears are often a little bit groggy and a bit of a tranquilizer fog. Uh, during that time, they're especially grumpy, and that's why the signs are up. But as we know, humans get a human, and that means they'll ignore the signs or think that it doesn't apply to them, so they'll walk the other way or to walk the other way or do not there enter. There you go. Huh. So don't go, so when the bears are recovering from this tranquilizer yeah. stuff, Listen, they're even more dangerous. Uh, yeah. Just get in there and go get a selfie with them. <laughs> they're groggy. They're yeah. not going to remember it or yeah, track just, you down. Yeah, yeah they Sneak love that. Sneak in there. It's not like they're going to recognize your face and track your house down. They do like when you hold the phone at a high angle. Yeah, though, do so the high angle. Right, yeah. <laughs> Especially when they're groggy. Right. Number four, Daniel Miller from the Los Angeles Times recently had an interesting article about how sushi made its way to America. Uh, we can thank the odd couple of Harry Wolf Jr. Uh, he's a Jewish nightclub guy from Chicago and Kuratoshi Kanai, who had oh, been yeah. in the Kuratoshi. Japanese military and was an importer in Los Angeles. In 1965, these two met by chance at a trade show in Chicago. They decided to try to find a food product that could help them make money here in the U.S. They planned a trip to Japan, and that's where Wolf had sushi for the first time and was blown away. Miller had to convince his Japanese friend by pointing out French chefs in America are snobby, but sushi chefs would be like entertainment for Americans, so they decided to go all in, bringing everything needed for quality sushi, even the knives, to Los Angeles, and it was a hit. Today, Los Angeles is home to eight Michelin-starred sushi restaurants. Huh. All right, number three, there's something of a trend out there now in fitness called primal movements. People imitate animals like apes or bears or crabs yeah. or jump around like a bunny to get in shape. The idea is basic animalistic movements are the exact thing we all need, and it's supposed to be a fun way to break up a boring workout. You know, the movements of animals highlight balance, flexibility, and a strong core. There are animal flow community groups in lots of different cities, and some gyms now have classes like caveman calisthenics. It's really not much different from moves you'd make with, like, old-school breakdancing. Larry, you'd be good at this. Oh, I would be, yeah. It's all about the squatting and bending and holding your own body weight and pivoting and... Well, that's not spinning on your back, <laughs> doing the worm. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, number two, I want to make clear this is not part of the tech segment this is nine and nine us wishing a happy birthday yeah, to anybody thank you. Yeah. but happy birthday to nirvana bassist uh chris uh, novoselic the six foot seven grunge icon turns 58 today novoselic formed nirvana in aberdeen washington with kurt cobain wow back in 1987 an infamous moment during his time in nirvana was at the 92 mtv oh. music awards when he oh. threw up his bass into the air mid-song and attempted to catch it. It didn't work out. Uh, after the band ended in 1994, he took a step back from the spotlight. He's also been very active in Washington state politics. Uh, he considered a run for lieutenant governor as a Democrat in 2004 as a challenger to the incumbent, but ultimately scrapped the idea. Wow, uh, you wouldn't even recognize no. that. Yeah. Looks like a science teacher. Yeah. yeah. Well, we haven't aged well either. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, number one. Scientists have yet to definitively find a funny bone, uh, but they're revealing some nuances about uh, the laugh impulse or the laughing being contagious. Researchers say because humans are wired to mirror one another's laugh, the, the brain's wired to imitate one another, laughing is a lot like yawning. Pro a professor from Finland says when people see or hear laughter, their brains naturally want to mimic the behavior. And let's put that theory to test with a woman who many say was one of the most, or has one of the most infectious laughs around, Julia Louise <laughs> Dreyfus. Elaine, what could have possessed you to hire that man? <laughs> <laughs> You're saying you want a piece of me? <laughs> My George isn't clever enough to hatch a scheme like this. You got that right. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> you saying you want a piece of me? <laughs> 
problem right now. <laughs> you saying you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? <laughs> you got it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's such a funny scene. All right. Season 8 of Seinfeld there. Oh, that's a 9 at 9. 9 at 9.